Congratulations. Congratulations on your successful graduation from Tokyo University of Science. I would like to take this chance to also congratulate the parents and families of these excellent young men and women, as well as the dedicated teaching and support staff of TUS. You all did a great job. Today, I would like to give you three main points to take away as you venture out into the wider world. First, I speak as a senior alumnus of our university. I learned a very important lesson as a student at TUS, which had served me well throughout my life and career. The lesson is very simple. When you are well prepared, you succeed. When you are not, you fail. Regardless of your major, you have all learned this lesson from your time at TUS. I have served in many top management positions in my career, but it has not all been a smooth and steady journey to the top. I have risen and fallen and risen again many times. You know, life is long and you will, you will surely encounter many, many challenges. But remember, you will only get out of your life and your career what you are willing to put into it. I say it again. You will only get what you are putting into it. Well, this is an exciting time to embark on new careers. The pace of advancement in science and technology is increasing exponentially. You have the chance to be part of amazing new discoveries and inventions from health sciences to data science. You can be a part of things that change our world and the way we live for the better. Second, I speak as an international business professional. I learned many important things by going abroad and working in the US. Of course, English, the international language of business, but importantly, also lifestyles and work styles of the American people. Most importantly, teaming up with and competing against Americans taught me how to compete and to win in the fast-paced, technology-oriented world of international business. There are invaluable skills that I could not have learned by staying exclusively in Japan. So, before it is too late, ladies and gentlemen, go abroad. Go abroad. Find your global rivals and partners in the international scene. A new global economy is rising on the horizon. It has been called the industrial internet economy. And the internet of things, you know, IoT, IoT economy. It is the convergence of the physical and digital worlds with software as connecting connective tissue, smarter and connected products, products embedded with sensors that gather and feed new types of data into the big data engines, which can be mined in novel ways for insights into customer needs and wants and service outcomes. It is a do or die paradigm shift to consumer-oriented, real-time value chain on a global scale. You all will be part of this giga change of the 21st century. Take the lead.
and they enjoy the leading edge. Third, I speak at the head of a university. As you venture out into your lives and careers, always strive to be the best at whatever you do. Go for number one. And never forget that the world is a big and wondrous place with many lessons to teach you. Have a spirit of challenge and a mind of adventure. Have the self-respect of always striving to achieve your heartfelt desires. Reach for the top, but never forget that the leader is nothing without his or her team. So always be a good team member. Be kind to other people. Never hesitate to offer a helping hand. Keep your chin up when things are tough. Finally, enjoy your life. Enjoy your growth. Experience the joy of finding and marrying partners and building your own families. And come back to your alma mater whenever you need help. TUS will always be here for you. We will always be here for you. I expect to see you, see your faces at the TS Annual Homecoming Day every year. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, I would like to leave you with some words of wisdom from Steve Jobs, a great innovator and business leader who changed the world with his ideas and passion. He said, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. Stay hungry. Stay foolish. All the best. Bon voyage. Samarakana.